Hey guys, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and today I'm going to show you how to make jalapeno cheese bread for your bread machine. So today's recipe is from a blog post that I did like four years ago. I did a recipe on bread machine jalapeno cheese bread, and it wasn't a very popular post. I mean, people commented and said, oh, that looks really good. I'm going to have to try it. But it really didn't get a whole lot of traffic. Up until like a few months ago though, I've had people like in droves searching for this recipe. And I'm like, where is it all coming from? So I took a look at the recipe and the pictures were just gross. I mean, I didn't take very good quality photos. Just all around, it was not good at all. So I decided to recreate the recipe, take a video of it as well, redo the pictures and show you all what it is really supposed to look like. Now you can make this recipe in your bread machine if you want to. I did for the very first recipe that I did, but the problem with making it in your bread machine is that it ends up like vertical, just depending on which bread machine you have. My container is really tall, so when the bread bakes, it becomes a really tall loaf and is not very good for sandwiches. So this time around, I made the dough in the bread machine, but I baked it in the oven and it looks so much better. Let me show you how it's made. So the first thing we'll do is put the dough in the bread machine. Now here is the container that I'm putting all of the ingredients in. I already put hot water in this to try and get this hot or at least warm. I found that if the insert is cold the yeast won't rise as well so I make sure that this is warm first. So I'll start with just one cup of warm water and then one teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of sugar. Now your bread machine might have different instructions. Some will say add the water first, some will say add the flour first, but mine is usually add the water and liquid ingredients first, and then the flour, and then the yeast on top, because when you put the yeast in with the water, it starts to uh, activate right away. Actually, I'm gonna put in the flour first, and then the jalapeno. So I start with about three cups, and then once I start the bread machine, I will check it after about five minutes to see how it's doing. If it's too wet, I'll add more flour. If it seems too dry, I'll add a little bit more water, just like a tablespoon at a time or so. After the flour, you can use either jarred jalapenos or you can use fresh. I'm actually going to use a mixture of both. Um, I bought a few fresh jalapenos for a recipe and I didn't use all of them. And I do like using the pickled jalapenos in these because I find that the juice kind of gets mixed in with the dough and gives it that really good jalapeno flavor. So a little bit of extra jalapenos. And then lastly is a half cup of cheese. Put that on top. Actually, the last part is the yeast. So one and a half teaspoons, one and a half teaspoons. All right, next we'll put this in the bread machine. So this is my bread machine. This is a Regal Kitchen Pro. And I bought this for $6 at the thrift store. You do not have to spend like $30, $60 on a new bread machine. Just go to the thrift store. I've had this for five or six years or so, and it works amazingly. So with mine, yours might be different, but with mine, I just open it up and then slide it in. And I make sure it's locked, then close it again. And then after you plug it in, you can press the buttons. So I have a bunch of different menu selections here. I am not baking this bread in the bread machine. I'm going to just do the dough and then bake the bread in the oven. So I'm going to pick the dough, which for mine is number nine. And then start, and then mine goes for about an hour and a half. 
and I will check it after about five minutes to see how the dough looks. All right, let's check it real quick and see. It does look pretty wet. So I'm gonna add a tablespoon or two of flour to it. See how that works. All right, I'll do one more and then I think that'll be good. When you touch it, you just want to make sure that it's not like sticking to your finger. And it's a little wet, but it's not sticking. So let's give it an hour and a half and see what happens. All right, it's been an hour and a half. Let's pull the dough out of the bread machine, see what it looks like. As you can see, it has risen some. It's a little puffy, it's not sticking to my fingers. So I'm going to dump it out onto this cutting board and I've already sprinkled it with a little bit of flour. I know it will be a little bit wet here on the bottom. So next thing you do is just kind of knead it just for a minute or so. Alright, that looks perfect. Now let me get the baking pan and then I'm going to just spray the pan with some cooking spray. I'm just gonna lay the dough flat in the bread pan. So I believe this is a 9x5 loaf pan. You could probably also use an 8x4. So I'm just gonna flatten it out some and then I'm gonna put a towel on top and let it rise for about an hour and then we can bake it. All right, it has been an hour. I just preheated the oven to 400 degrees and this bread has risen very nicely. I cannot wait to see what it looks like when it's done. And actually, I am going to put just a couple extra little jalapenos and a tiny sprinkling of cheese on top just to give it that little extra decoration, I guess. A lot just enough and now I'm gonna put it in the oven for I'll start with 25 minutes and I will check it from there now see I have only baked this in in the bread machine some bread machines you can bake the bread right inside so that's what I did with this recipe before so this is actually my first time baking this in the oven so we'll see how it goes I just took it out of the oven to test it and it looks perfect. Now one way that I test to make sure that it's done, just kind of give it a little knock and if it feels or sounds kind of hollow then it's good to go. But this looks amazing. I'm going to let it cool for about an hour or so and then I'm going to cut it to show you what it looks like on the inside. Oh my gosh, this thing looks so amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it because it's completely cooled. Now this serves 12, so excuse me while I try to make them uh, somewhat even. So I'll start by cutting it in half first. I am all about the portion control, so if I can get this as even as possible, that would be lovely. Oh man, look at the inside of this bread. It is like super soft. I can tell, you can't really even see the cheese in it. Um, you can sort of see the jalapenos. So if you want to add like an extra half cup of cheese inside, if you want to add extra jalapenos, you can totally do that. Like this recipe is pretty flexible. But even without all the extra cheese and jalapenos, like you can still taste it. It's got really good flavor. I don't know about you guys, but I could eat bread all day. In fact, I really want to eat this entire loaf like right now before John gets home, but I know he'd be really sad. I guess you could call me a carbaholic. Wow, this is super soft. It's actually kind of hard to cut. So I am actually serving this bread with some black bean soup tonight. We're just gonna put some butter on it. 
but you could probably even use them as sandwiches. I like I might take this to school tomorrow. I'm volunteering in Allison's class, so I might grab or I might take some deli turkey out of the freezer and make these into a sandwich. You know, now that I think about it, I wonder if Allison will eat this. She does not like spicy, but since there aren't a lot of jalapenos in it, I wonder if she can tolerate it. I don't know though, she's pretty picky. But that just means more bread for us. Here we go. 12 slices of jalapeno cheese bread. I cannot wait to dig into these tonight. See, nice and soft. You can kind of see the jalapenos in there. This would make excellent sandwich bread. If you would like the printable recipe for this jalapeno cheese bread, I've got a link in the description below to my blog post, which has all the updated photos. You're gonna love it. And also subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can get notified on when I post my weekly grocery hauls, my meal planning tips, and more recipes like these. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you later.